How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this side quest. I believe next we gotta go talk to Captain Kublai. On the Iron Wyvern. Uh, ah, he's over here. Hi. Ahoy there, lad. How go the preparations for the final battle? Uh, I, they're fine. There's, um, something I wanted to ask you, Captain Kablai. Well, spill it out then. You'll get nowhere playing coy with me. Did you ever hear of somebody called Kablai Khan the Third? Uh, how did you come to hear that, that name? So you have heard of him? Aye, of course I have heard of him. He was father of my father's father. What business do you have with old dog? Uh, boy, give us a pirate treasure map in Caspi Cove. We found it. We found all these monuments, and the letters carved on them spelled out Kablai 3. Is that so? Makes sense, I suppose. Legend has it that the third to bear the name of Kablai Khan was captain of a band of bloodthirsty pirate scoundrels. His name was known and feared in his day. That was many an age ago now. Wow! So he was a real-life pirate legend, huh? More than that, a hero. How? Tales tell that no matter how much he plundered, he could spend it all in an instant. How is that a hero? Um, that doesn't sound very heroic. Sounds flipping idiotic, if you ask me. <laughs> Aye, you may be right there. The legends also speak of a treasure that was worth more to him than any other. They do? Gee, you think it could really have existed? Aye, lad. I know little of it, but they say he carried it with him to his dying day. Crikey! Must have been one tiny treasure for a legendary pirate not to want to let it go. They say it was finally hidden away in the depths of a forest on an island somewhere. That's not helpful. Not really. An island so inhospitable that no ship could reach it. Litman! We've got to find it. Follow me, boy. This is treasure hunting time. You know, I sure hope we can find it. You do. You'd best set aside my share of the spoils, or I'll have your thieving guts for goddess. Yeah. Oh, jeez. All right, fine. Okay, this episode is a prime example of why I prep these kind of things ahead of time. If I didn't, oh, I'm grieve. Episodes like this would not go as smooth as it's about to. There are some examples of when I still struggle, but that's when RNG really kicks in for, like, battles or something. But anyway, I digress. I believe where I want to go is along the northern border somewhere. Yeah, over there in the very right top right-hand corner. That's where I want to go. Originally, I thought I, when I was doing my practice run, I thought it was Nazca he was talking about. No. That, that, that would be a bit too obvious. Apparently. No, I want to go over here. In fact, there it is. Right there, I just landed right in front of it. It's another monument. It is too. The woods on it are all faded, though, eh? Can't make head nor tail.
rid of them. Do you think it's something to do with the wise great 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 grandfather's most valuable treasure? The one he told us about? Must be. Hey. Since when did Oliver turn into Drippy? I don't know. Must be. Hey, if we use magic, we could probably make it so that we can read the words, huh? Go on then. Give it to Kale. Rejuvenate. That, that's... Even on my first attempt at this, I knew it was rejuvenate. That's kind of a no-brainer at this point in the game. You play, like, blank the hours of the game, and if you don't know this, then that, at this point, then that's kind of a problem. You know, the writing's just like new. Nice work, Ollie boy. Right then, let's have a read, shall we? The greatest treasure of all. They say that life is an adventure. And so it has proved it for us. Braving terrible storms and giant waves. We have explored every corner of this wondrous world. We've seen such sights as no man could imagine. Felt cold that chilled the blood. That singed the skin. We amassed countless treasures and spent just as many, bested countless foes, and paid victory's heavy price. But finally, our journey is at an end. After all this time and all this traveling, I have discovered the greatest treasure of all a life spent with friends. To this, no worldly wealth can compare. As a tribute to the times my friends and I shared, I have made records of my dearest memories and placed them around the world we explored together. I hope that one day, another adventurer will find them, and will discover the value of companionship on one's journey. Here lies Kublai Khan, the third of that name, captain of the indomitable spirit. That's the name of the ship he... Wow. Okay. So it's a grave, is it? I guess so. Gee. Sure sounds like Kablai's great-great-great-grandfather had a fun life. I'm totally not going to puberty at all. <laughs> Ollie boy. Sound a little bit woozy. The time you spend with your friends is the greatest treasure in the whole world, eh? That's a bit... pretentious, ain't it? I mean, not really. Huh? But, well, I, I think I kind of get what he's saying, though. I mean, my memories of traveling around this world with you guys, they're the best I have. Yeah, but... Uh, Oli boy, uh, that's... It's, it's really... Crikey. It's a little boring by it, ain't it? Let's get back to Castaway Cove, shall we? You got nothing to say, Drippy? You just... You got something to say. Say it to my face. Alright, let's go talk to the kid and get this side quest over and get one of the worst side quests in the dang game started. The side quest uh, I'm going to do after this is so bad that I had to prep every little thing to make sure it was done quickly in this playthrough. But I'll still explain it once we get to it. Hi. Ah, you have finally returned. You have something to report, perhaps? We sure do. Kublai Khan III was our friend Kublai's great-great-great-grandfather. He was the captain of, a ca of the Castaway Corsairs. Ah, I thought as much. Truly, I did. So Kublai set us off to find out what the old fellow left behind see. The greatest treasure of all, ain't it? <laughs> what did you find? You must tell me at once. You're, 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 well, <laughs> it's probably not what you were expecting. What? Truly not another puzzle. Naman, it is old Kublai Khan's grave, ain't it? His grave? Uh-huh. There was a message, too. Have 
And all this time, and all this traveling, I've discovered the greatest treasure of all. A life spent with friends. Proper wise words from the old sea dog were there. Is it? I can't speak. Since when have I been ever, ever able to? Memories of good times with your buddies are way more precious than boring old treasure like. Hold on. Another flippin' ain't? What a load of old rubbish that pirate wants his head looking at. I see. So there never was any treasure to be found. But Clyde Third's words have only made me more determined to have my own adventures. With friends, of course. Gee, that's great. I'll be rooting for you, kid. Now go have some fun. <laughs> we'll be rooting for your friends as well. Okay. Arr, thank you. Though our search for treasure was not successful, the tales you brought back with you gave me untold pleasure. In fact, please allow me to give you this in exchange for all the excitement you have brought into my life. What are the? I still don't get what these evil eyes are worth. What do they do for me? I'm le I legitimately have no idea. Oh, and please take these also. I found them in the governor's storeroom, near to the place where I discovered the map. May they help you to manufacture the mightiest of weapons. Oh. How can I formulae? Alright. So. Next stop is a cave that's directly north from where we are now. A side quest that after this playthrough, I personally never plan on doing again. So, for this particular side quest, I should point out that every item takes about an hour and a half to get just one. Eh, no. It takes about an hour and a half, so... For this side quest, I'm going to go and show my items bag really quick. As you can see, I pro I have more items. Or maybe you guys haven't noticed. I don't know. I'm half covering. I'm a f hmm. I'm covering like six of all the items, so I guess you could notice. But I have way more than I did the last time we went into this uh, portion of the item bag. What I'm focused on are the black wings here, uh, the Tash Stone, Scrolls of Truth. And the Clytus Stone. And lastly, the Grand Axe. For anybody who hasn't done this stuff before, let me explain. Really quick. I'm going to be making an item for the guy, that old man in the distance over there, that requires making another item beforehand. <sighs> and it takes over five... It takes from 5 to 10 hours to be able to get everything. So, if you don't have that kind of patience, do not do this side quest. But that's also why I prepped ahead of time. The Black Wings and um, the, uh, the Tash Stones you can actually just get by progressing for the most part. In fact, I, lo I, look I looked at the area to see what I already had, and those were already there. Well, one Tash Stone was missing, but it was easy to find. Let's see. What am I doing? Spring Lock. Spring Lock! As far as the other items go, the, um... You know, we'll figure it out in a second. Hi! <laughs> we don't get many visitors out of here. No, 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 not many at all. If any! Oh, what's that I spy? A cauldron? <laughs> the boy is a wizard? A visiting wizard boy. Huh? You know about cauldrons. <laughs> That's nothing I... There's nothing I don't know about the cauldrons. Big man, you're not the only wizard in this cave, you see? They call me the Alchemist. So, all the ancient characters have 
confronted me in one way or the other. And I'm more than happy to pass my knowledge on to the next generation. So how about it, boy? Do you want to learn some real alchemy? Sure. Good for you. Now then, where to begin? Make a war god's axe. War god's axe, eh? Sounds pretty nifty. Come on, then. What do we need to do? Well, the first thing you need is a demon's axe, which I don't have, but I do have the alchemy formula to make it. Flippin' heck! That doesn't sound half bad, either. <laughs> You're going to need a grand axe, some black wings, and a cash uh, stone or two. <sighs> He's already making it difficult, by the way. So, ba I had to pull up a guide, which I still have up in case I forget the numbers, but... Basically, in this particular circumstance... <sighs> you need two black wings, three tash stones. <sighs> You're useless on quantity, dude. I get it. Eh? I thought you said you were going to teach us. Got something better to do, have you? Uh, sooner or later, every wizard must learn to think for himself. You got it, sir. I'll make a demon's axe. You see if I don't. In fact, I'll do it right here in front of you. You got heart, boy. Show me. Show me what you got. All right, fine. Wait, do I have a formula for that, actually? I do so have a grand axe. This game is so stupid. You can't. Oh, because they're both equipped. Oops. There we go. All right. Follow the formula. There you go. Hey. Down a demon's axe. There you go, butthole. I'm back, and I made myself a demon's axe. <laughs> Fine work, boy. I suppose you'll be wanting to know how to make a war god's axe next, yes? Yes, please. Well, the first thing you'll need is to make... Is that... Well, duh. You'll also need some rainbow-colored fossils. And some writings about the mysteries of the world. So in other words, kaleidostones and scrolls of truth. Five of each, by the way. That part is the reason this particular side quest is a pain in the ass. I did it off screen. Of course, you'll have to work out the quantities for yourself. Five of each. Gee, those materials sound pretty special. Yeah, they're so special, they're extremely rare. Not wrong there. The question is, do you have what it takes to find them? Barely! It took me five hours to find all of them. Here's the thing, too. I just got lucky. It took me an hour and a half to find literally one. And then after I found one, it was luck, because I found a back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back on one of them. The other one... Yeah, the other one took me forever. Because I found one... Then it took an hour for me to find the next one, then about 10 minutes to find the next, and then about 20 to find the next, and the last one took about 5 minutes. It is literally randomized when you actually find these. So, if you decide to do this, um, first of all, if you need a direct walkthrough for this, look it up if you have some kind of interest. If not, I'm just going to say this. Look for... It's a golden... Bedraggle in the at the very end part of the um, ice area area where we fought that ice uh, wolf thing. Uh, I forget what the place is called. I'll have to look it up. Do I? You're talking to the Lord. I order the fairies mod. Finding stuff is second nature to me. No, first nature. Yeah, I seem level and laid back. But these sharp eyes don't miss a thing. 
And once I've spotted what I'm after, I don't stop till I've made it mine. Hey, no, that's me. And I'll tell you something else. I've got a singing voice and as an angel. Oh, the hell, oh, the hell, it's a drippy shut up. Ah, oh, my God. <laughs> drippy singing voice is hell. That's all I've got to say. Anyway. Singing voice. An angel would be proud of. There's something that's saying. That say I'm just a pretty face, but. That, that's enough, Mr. Drippy. Well, I could go on, but I won't. Proper modest I am, see? Well, then shut up! Okay. So basically. The Glittering Grotto, that's the name of the area. At the very end of the Glittering Grotto, right before the last checkpoint, I think they're actually called Waystones, um, you go back and forth that last area where you'll find scattered enemies. It's the best place you'll find golden bedraggles. However, that will get you the... Um, The wrong one. That will give you all five of the Kaleidostones here. Luckily for me, I only had to search for four. Somewhere, somehow, I found one. I don't remember finding one, but I found one at some point. However, these pain in the butt things. If you want to know where these are, and for some reason, if you want to do this side quest, because 100%. Go to the cavern area in the something trail. Why am I forgetting the names of the areas? Hold on. Tombstone. That should have been obvious. So there's a small cave into the tombstone trail. It's not very big. If you go back and forth between that particular cave, you can get this done within about an hour and a half. But I was stupid and went and looked in several areas where different walkthroughs told me they could be. That's where you can get it the easiest. That's why I said the last three were like 20, 10, 5 minutes. Because that's when I realized go there and it was found like that after a while. So yeah. I recommend the Tombstone Trail just going back and forth between that small cave at the, near the end of it. And the Glittering Grotto... Right before the last checkpoint, where there are a bunch of enemies that gather every time you go just a little bit away. And use, take advantage, when you see these en golden enemies, uh, the golden, um, for, for, for the cavern, so it's the golden bedraggle that you're looking for in the glittering grotto, however... The Scrolls of Truth, you're going to want the gold honky-tonkers. They have, like, this thing behind their head. Not three horns, it's this sun-looking thing. Anyway, yeah. Take advantage of Mugshot until you, um... Basically, steal. Steal from them, and then once you've stolen an item successfully, kill them. Stealing the item is the more likely way of getting it, because it gives you 20% versus 5% chance. Yeah. Anyway, butthole, I'll make your thing. Since now that I've wasted my breath for two minutes trying to explain what the hell to do, because you're an ass. Mix and match. Anyway. Five of these. Five of these, and one of these. Why can I, isn't that equipment? Ah, whatever. Yep, let's do it. If this doesn't work, the walkthroughs lie. There, jeez. Hey, butthole, I made your thing. I did it. I made a war god's axe. Yaha! Wonderful. I really didn't think you'd 
hold it in you, boy. You had it in you, boy. Well, it wasn't easy. Yeah, damn straight. <laughs> I sure learned a lot along the way. How much time I wasted in my own life trying to build a freaking axe. I could have made one faster by just going to a blacksmith. Oh, of course you did. Keep this up and you'll be a great wizard one day. Mark my words. Now I want you to have this. It's a reward for your, all your alchemical endeavors. Two clumps of troll's tears. How is this going to help me? Two glowstones, 5,000 guilders, and seven stamps. I'll also give you some new and exciting formula to try out. Keep up the good work and someday you ju may justly be able to call yourself the world's second greatest alchemist. What I get? Okay. Now that we're done with this, let's go back to, I think that's all the side quests. Every last one of them. Almost. Oh, jeez. There are two things we still need to do. Where we are on time, though, we probably won't do it today, but I do want to double check. Actually, that was right. Travel to, you know what, wherever. I can literally go wherever. As long as it has Swift solutions, it doesn't matter where I go. Hi, Swift. Ding dong, Dell. Yeah, I thought this guy was annoying. I never thought I'd see the day where I'd say this, but I'd rather do this guy's side quest than the side quest I just did that took me like five minutes in front of you guys. It took me about five hours off screen. The only reason it took me five hours, it would, to be honest, it probably would, it only, when, once I knew how to approach everything, it took me about three hours. Because every like 20 minutes-ish, for the most part, if you, like, balance it out, you find one of the rare items. That's how rare those stupid items are. Hey, butthole. Welcome to Swift Solutions, where those in need come to watch their worries fly away. No bounty hunts? Can I claim bounties? Can I claim merits? Yes, I can finally finish all this. Trophy earned, superhero. I have never been able to do that before. Wait. I wasn't paying attention. What did that give me? Oh. So what? Does that mean we're done with everything we can finally finish up? No. Eight, three, seven, three, five. Huh? Oh, it's because the side, oh, well, that's a bit finicky, 131, 34, and 36 are over here, is there a way for me to see everything at once, you know, I'm just going to take the word of the game that I've done everything, because I've done all the bounties, Since it jumps numbers at a point, I'm just going to assume that I've done everything bounty wise. Oh, hold on. I'm just checking. Just checking. 8, 2, 9, 30. It's 32 over here as well. One thirty two is missing. One thirty three is here. One thirty four. Thirty five. Thirty six. One thirty seven. One thirty eight. Where the hell is one thirty two? I mean, everything else is here. Literally every number aside from that is here. But where the hell is 132? Hmm. Yeah, 
Please, sir. There are no errands, so it can't be an errand. Can it? I don't know. Well, either way, let's travel out of this area and go to the Temple of Trials. We have one thing we gotta do here. We have literally two side quests left. Two. That's it. Just two. One of them is here. No, don't save yet. Hi. Actually, I changed my mind. We'll do this next time. I'm going to travel over to... Even though I've probably been here enough for the day, for a personal day, for the sake of the recording, we're going to go here and gamble! Most of the side questing I'll save for later. But, in fact, you know what? How long was last episode? I have to look this up now. Blah. How long did I make the last episode? I made it. Yeah, you know what? I made the last episode 50 minutes. I'll leave this one here. Uh, next time we will either do the Temple of Trials or we'll do the stuff in this area. I'm trying to do as much as I can in this game. I'm not gonna completionist complete this, but they're like the only two things we got left to do in the game before finally approaching the final boss with all side quests done. In the meantime, I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. You know what? We'll start next time by doing the Temple of Trials. I need to practice that anyway. So. Want to check out anything that has... Any stops that this train has made, which is just one as of right now, but if you want to check that out, um, it's something that was done by level 5. You can completely make it through it, but, you know, click the link in the bottom right in the corner to try and take you to that destination. Or, if you missed any of the other 74 stops <laughs> on, on this ride, if for some reason you're interested, click the link in the uh, across from my head here and then try and take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride.